Seen a lot more sunshine mm -hmm. this week as opposed to last. Isn't it great? I love it. It's great. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it actually it's, kicked off a nice Monday morning seeing that sunrise come up. I know. No, no, no big complaints, I would say, <laughs> here, Brooke. And the nice thing is, yeah, at just after January ended, it's just been sunny every day since the final day of January. So we have been really enjoying the sunshine. It's been much deserved. Here's a nice shot actually coming in from the Falls of the Ohio. This is actually from uh, Lewis and Clark, the statue of some of that filtered sunshine that was on display through the course of the weekend. Thanks to Kim for submitting that photo. We also did have a couple of nice gorgeous shots. This one sent in by Stephanie from Cox Creek yesterday. That was the main story all weekend long. Some filtered high passing clouds and temperatures all weekend long did stay pretty mild outside as well. This is actually the moon setting early this morning. So of course near sunrise sent in by Chelsea on Facebook and we did have one more gorgeous shot from yesterday morning sunrise sent in by Susie on our Facebook page on uh, Kentucky and Indiana Cloud Watchers. So if you do have some more pictures, of course, you can always join that group and submit them. Uh, we always try our best to share them with you on WHAS 11. 51 degrees right now at the airport in Louisville, and we are noticing a north wind on the light side of things. It is downright gorgeous outside. I'm going to step off screen so you get a nice look at just how picturesque the afternoon is so far today. We're going to be well on our way to 56 by and large around 4 o'clock. That's when the high temperature is this time of the year. Here's what we have on full display as well. Some clouds way up to our north. Other than that, we're seeing basically a cloudless sky all across the state of Kentucky and much of Indiana and much of Ohio as well. Take a look. Our planner forecast 56 at 4 o'clock today. Later on tonight, we're going to be clearing out temperatures overnight. Uh, we'll be falling off quite a bit. Actually, we'll be going from the mid 50s at 4 p.m. And by midnight, we'll be knocking on the 30 degree range. So um, I do think as we get into early tomorrow morning, we'll dip down to the freezing mark in most spots. The reason why high pressure to our west will be continuing to steer into Kentucky and, uh, and give way to a clear night ahead in plummeting temperatures overnight as well. Take a look at localized future cast. So again, through the rest of the day today, a cloud the sky sticking around. We're going to be clear all throughout the course of the night tonight and during much of the morning tomorrow. A few clouds looking to be developing, developing mainly off to the eastern tier of Kentucky and low temperatures on either side of 32 degrees tomorrow morning and by and large tomorrow afternoon. We're going to be well on our way once again to the low 50s. Now tomorrow will likely be the cooler day of the rest of this week. And let's kind of fast forward though and talk about that next system we can expect that will be impacting us. Look at this. This is Thursday evening. So again, Wednesday and much of the day Thursday will be quiet. There will be bands of rain though developing Thursday evening and this rainfall is going to be sticking around throughout the course of Friday morning and some of this rainfall again will be uh, lingering into the midday hours on Friday. I do think uh, most of this activity Friday will be pretty spotty, but keep in mind temperatures Friday will be into the 60s. So that's that's looking to be the next shot of rain. In fact, it'll be so warm in our atmosphere. We might see a couple of rumbles of thunder on Friday. No severe weather, but we'll just be watching it pretty closely for you. But in the meantime, we are staying very quiet all the way until Thursday of the week. Brooke, over to you. All right.